and gentlemen of the Academy, I have a word or two to say about words. Some words are magnificent, like magnificent, <laughs> sublimely sprawling between two finger spaces, regally reaching out its nasal consonants like rivers in a mountain landscape, <laughs> outstretched arms to an old friend. Some words are flawless, like Flawless. It's W, cut like a gemstone, hangs on a softly spun sling of silken sounds and decorates the neck of any page. But my favourite word in the English language is aliquot. Ooh, aliquot. <laughs> Twas aliquot made a logophile of me. Aliquot for whom I handcuffed myself to verbal bedposts and waited, anticipated. Oh, aliquot. <laughs> and aliquot, with me bound to the page, ejaculates. A small but carefully measured volume of solution. Prematurely. <laughs> because aliquot is defined as a carefully measured portion of a larger whole. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> and so, my favourite word is Icelandic. My favourite word is lius. Lius is a word very much like its meaning. You can bathe in lius. You can hide from lius. Lius is every colour, every shape, and lius makes everything so much more beautiful. Lius is light. A particulate word that flows like a wave. But some words are barbed wire fences, some words are well-tied nooses, others are panels in a great glass ceiling. No one will question their construction, smithed to segregate, crafted to curse their sole intention to chop our population into chunks and build rifts between them. These words are no good. Other words, by comparison, depict body parts and body functions. By contrast, they show us the things we all have in common. Yet we herd our children away from these words, hide them behind shrill electronic beats, far harsher on the ears than the words they conceal. All of our children will f and all of our children will f but by the same standards, my children will not be exposed to the filth that is Winnie the Pooh and Roger Rabbit. <laughs> These words mean no harm, but we coop them within the same barbed wire fences, hang them from the same well-tied nooses, splatter them against the same glass ceiling. The things that bring us together as taboo as the things that pull us apart. So tell me, ladies and gentlemen of the Academy, when I say the word cunt, why do you find it offensive? <laughs>